The consonants in RLS are probably the easiest part of the system. There will be relatively few surprises here, as many of the consonant letters retain their most familiar pronunciations from traditional spelling. The consonants are pronounced as in the following words, read in rows, bat, pat, van, fan, either, ether, dime, time, zone, sewn, genre, shot, job, chop, guild, kilt, help, map, nap, bang, rip, lip, yet, wet. Let's take a look at what few surprises there were. First, there's the letter X, which stands for a sound that has no clearly dominant or default representation in traditional spelling, though S may be most common. We hear it in the middle of words, like leisure. RLS typically replaces traditional usages of X with KS or GZ. Next, the letter C is always pronounced as in cello, making what is traditionally known as the CH sound. The letter S represents what is traditionally known as the SH sound, as at the beginning of shot. The letter F represents the sound in the middle of the word either, while the letter thorn represents the sound in the middle of the word ether. Both of these phonemes are traditionally spelled as TH. Finally, the letter ingma represents what is traditionally known as the NG sound, as at the end of bang. The squiggly line at the top that distinguishes it from a conventional letter N is called a tilde. The phoneme at the end of words like sing and ring is the only sound with more than one possible spelling, but as I hope is the clear pattern by now, the rule is very simple. If it is immediately followed by K or G, the letter ingma loses its tilde and becomes a conventional letter N. For example, there should be an ingma in singer, but not in finger and there should be only one ingma in thinking, not two. Here are a few more words to try out. This, thin, wishful, kingdom, forthcoming. Finally, three complete sentences. Think of all the things you could do with such connections. It's a pleasure to meet you. The cat was pawing at the door. Congratulations! You've completed this tutorial and now know everything you need to know to experiment with RLS, which is just one of many proposed solutions to English spelling. If nothing else, we hope you've had fun exploring the possibility.